Hey everybody, I'm back again with another tour review. This time it is the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze Toka figure uh, based on the uh, design by the Jim Henson Creature Shop, which is probably my favorite figure that NECA has made so far. I'd say that Razar is probably a close second. Um, oh boy, it's tough to think of anyone else that could come close. Maybe the recent uh, Toon Baxter Stockman. That figure's pretty awesome, too. Um, uh oh, Metalhead is pretty awesome, too. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is definitely my favorite figure. Um, it's just, maybe it's because he looks so much like a Skeksy <laughs> to me. Which, uh, uh, NECA actually made a Skeksy figure a uh, long time ago. You can say I'm crazy that he doesn't look like a Skeksy, but... He looks like a Skeksy to me. He's so Skeksy looking. Toka, you Skeksy. Anyway, <laughs> that's the uh, NECA Chamberlain figure. Let me get him out of here. We'll get back to Toka now. I knocked over his uh, fire extinguisher to demutate him. Um, so he comes with uh, three sets of hands. The two hands that are on him are open and can hold stuff, uh, like open palmed, like the uh, the donuts and stuff, or you could put the, the ooze in his hand. I mean, he doesn't do this stuff in the film, but uh, kind of looks cool anyways. Uh, you could have him, hold, have him dropping things. <laughs> you could have him, uh, yeah, you could do that. That fits in there too. That looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Have him grab that and wail it at the turtles or something. Um, but yeah, so he comes with those open hands. Um, and he comes with the closed hands, which these are meant to be holding items, but I feel like they're way too close. I'm not quite sure what he would hold in these hands. Maybe they're kind of like punching hands. Let's say they have holes in them that you put like a weapon or something, but as you can see, like, the hole's not big enough to really hold the pipe. I don't know what else he would hold in his hand there, but I do like that. I have to say that the uh, hand differences for Toka are a lot nicer than the ones for Razor. Because um, there's just more of a variation. The ones for Razor almost look exactly the same, at least to me anyways. I mean, I could be wrong. Um, this one's a nice... Like, uh, grabby looking hand. He could palm a turtle with his hand or something. Pretty cool. Again, uh, all the details are fantastic. I love it. I do, uh, wish that the fingers were articulated like, uh, someone mentioned on my Twitter feed, uh, yesterday. But, uh, hey, they do what they can do. You know, you can't get everything we always want, so... Um, now this, uh, TGRI, uh, ooze canister based on the film, um, also comes with Super Shredder, I believe, I think. I guess the same exact one. Hold on, guys, let me check and make sure. Okay. Super Shredder here. Let's check and find out. Yeah, so this is Super Shredder's, uh, this is... Token Razor is one. They look pretty uh, identical. Colors are pretty close. I'd say the uh, Shredder one is a little, a little darker. Uh, maybe a little more uh, pea green. This is more, I don't know, <laughs> baby food, mutagen green. I don't know. It's weird. Um, so, anyways, there's that. All the hands. Goes out of here. Get super shredder out of here. Here's the uh, the metal pipe that uh, Toko comes with. Very nice. It is not hollow. It's sealed off at each end, so you cannot put anything in there. Um, I do love the texture on it. It has like a nice real old pipe, like, gritty texture to it. It's really cool, and I do love that he can. Uh, just hold this and 
be all angry and bash some skulls or have some fun, whatever mama says to do. <laughs> um, anyway, so there's that. Then he comes with the fire extinguisher, which I'm afraid is going to break because like this part and the like piece here are like so flimsy. I feel like it's gonna snap off. So I wouldn't mess with that too much. It's not bendy or anything. Um, so there's that. Let's get right into Mr. Skexy, I mean Toka here. Um, he has amazing articulation. Um, just one of the coolest things NECA has done so far um, is these <laughs> eyebrows. He just has a, such a range of emotion and uh, can make him all crazy angry or surprised or really surprised or questioning. But I like him angry. And uh, let's see what else. His uh, little beak moves up and down. I like to like to sniff. It's really cool. And of course, the mouth gapes open real wide, which is good because he's a snapping turtle and it should do that. Um, it's really great. Um, let's see. And he is articulated um, right here where his uh, like torso meets the, the shell or his chest meets the shell, I guess. Um, but you really can't get too much motion out of that. This has kind of a, a wobble, really. A little bit of a turn. You don't get too much because he's got his big shell back here and he's stuck in it. So <laughs> he can't really move. And the But I mean, his uh, plaster on here is a uh, soft rubbery plastic. Uh, but still, I wouldn't mess too much with that. But uh, there is even underneath that, there's so much detail going on. It's just, it sucks that it's all hidden under all that. Uh, that's the one thing really like this NECA, the, the, or the, um, the sculpting on these. It's just killer. It looks like it just jumped off the movie screen. It's just so amazing. Um, let me get back to the articulation here. Cause I'm just so in awe of this toy. <laughs> um, so he has a uh, neck articulation here, which is a ball joint. And then he has um, the head itself on the long neck, um, which just really makes him super long. You really reach out and snap. It's really cool. And then the head just rotates all the way around. Then it goes side to side. It's really, really awesome. Um, he does have ball jointed uh, shoulders. But they are hindered because of the character's design with these spikes on his shoulder. So you can only really get those so far up. But they, I can tell they tried to make it, you know, as best they could to get, you know, as much range of motion as you could get out of this character. Um, let's see what else. So he has um, double joints on the arm here. And that does rotate as well. That's nice. Uh, and then he has this here um, in between the pad. Uh, now I felt like this was pretty tight, so I had to, it's real like, crunchy. I had to uh, blow dry this on both both arms before attempting to move this because it felt like it was gonna snap off. Um, yes, pun intended, because he's a snapping turtle. But anyways. <laughs> um, same same exact articulation on both arms. You really can, once you do get it heated up though and moving around, just kind of go like this a few times to get some of the, the paint off the the joint there. And you feel like you'll get a really good range of motion. Um, That's really, really nice. Um, so there is no articulation here as he's a very solid character. I feel like they did the right thing by not putting any there. Um, his legs do rotate pretty well. He does have the new uh, ball joints that most of the newer figures have. Um, can't really, again, get too much motion out of that because of the, the shell and stuff. Um, now he does have a double joint at the knee, unlike Razor, 
uh, Razor was only articulated in one spot, whereas Toka is articulated here on the lower half on both sides. And that does also rotate, which is really cool. Um, but then you also have knee articulation underneath of the knee pad uh, to make him like, you can either make him crouch down more or make him stand up real tall. Um, it is pretty difficult, in my opinion, to move the upper part of the leg. Um, I don't know if it's because of the, the padding or what, um, but it is very, very tight. Um, and these figures, there we go. They're hard to come by, and NECA only did a very short run of them, so I really don't want to mess with them too much because I'm afraid they're going to break. And then I will not be able to get them again because I'm not paying eBay prices for another set of these. <laughs> um, anyways. And then, uh, I didn't mention, but the, much like the bottom half of the joint, the upper joint, uh, swivels as well. So a lot of interesting type of motion going on there. Um, then the feet, um, <clears throat> are interesting, um, because they don't, peg in directly into the bottom of the feet um, because they are very thin there. Um, they peg in at an, uh, at an angle into the, I don't know if I can show you, if you can see it, it pegs in like right in here, like directly at an angle. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. It's very hard to move them. I can't, I'm having trouble getting the feet. Um, they do swivel as well. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble getting the feet to go back forward once I like, get them. You kind of have to like wiggle them and wobble them. They get stuck. Um, <clears throat> but uh, he has a lot of articulation. They're such a big guy. They really want it all out on these. Um, and as you can see, the paint job is just fan phenomenal and fantastic. Um, on top of the, on top of the sculpt, which just blows me away. Um, and the spikes on his shell are so hard, like, which is crazy because they're rubbery. It's made from a soft rubbery plastic. Um, so are the bandages. Um, but they're, like, to touch them, it feels like I'm touching a porcupine. Or like, uh, not a porcupine, like a, uh, a hedgehog or something. I used to have a, a pet hedgehog in Texas. Um, and it felt just like this almost. Pretty crazy. Um, one thing I will say though, taking them out of the box and playing with these spikes, watch out because the paint does, uh, come off. You can see here, it came off on this spike here, and it's starting to chip off there. But it's easy to fix. I have this color in my, my, uh, paint, uh, uh, paint supply here, so I'll be able to fix it pretty easy. It's not a big deal. Uh, I mean, even just look, look at the little rings around each spike on this shell. They're just gorgeous. Um, like I said, I'm just blown away by this figure. I mean, even the little, like, dot on his upper, inner thigh there. Um, and then, uh, like, I mentioned on Razar, but, like, the elbow pads and stuff, those are separate pieces. Um, now the wrist wraps, those are sculpted onto the arm on both sides. But like I said, the, uh, elbow pads and stuff and the knee pads, completely separate piece. Um, and it's put on over top of, like, the knees and the elbows. Just absolutely fantastic. Um, <clears throat> so that's what, uh, we have going on with Toka here.